Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the Overshield. But, we're gonna focus mainly on the MLG version of the Overshield. But I will compare and contrast to the original Overshield that came with the game. I will also be using the term OS interchangeably, as that's a shorter callout version when playing competitive Halo. Now, with that being said, let's begin. The differences between the regular Overshield and the MLG one, well, for one, their appearance, both in presentation and what players look like when picking them up. One of the reasons why MLG made their own OS instead of using the one that came with the game is because you can't tell if the player on the left has OS versus the one on the right that's colored in all white, so I know that player on the right has OS. In shield strength as well, the regular overshield only gives one extra layer of shields, while the MLG version grants two layers and double the health. The MLG OS can still recharge, albeit at a 50% slower rate. Another difference between the two are their behaviors on pickup. See, the regular OS, you're invincible until the OS is done charging up. Even then, it seems like the regular OS has like 3 extra seconds of invincibility before the OS starts decaying. Versus the MLG OS, as soon as you take damage, the MLG OS won't charge you up. But you'll still gain at least its double damage resistance. Now, let's move on to things that completely counter the overshield. I'm talking about one-shot kills. And the first thing you can do is the most simplest thing, albeit not easy in the field. A simple beatdown. If you happen to catch the OS player off guard, or if you perform a really cool slick ninja. First strike. Other weapons that can one-shot the OS are the Spartan Laser, the rocket launcher, one stick from a plasma grenade, the gravity hammer, spree. energy sword, and only one shot from a plasma launcher stick. Frenzy. And that's the Halo Reach Overshield. I wanted to focus more on the competitive version of the Overshield, as I do think it's better than the regular one, not only for its overall increased health, but it's also better balanced in terms of visibility and when it comes to picking it up. With the regular OS, you can't tell if the player has OS or not, and the temporary invincibility trait is just straight cheese. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed, and share this video around. Subscribe if you enjoy the content on the channel, and let me know your thoughts on the Halo Reach Overshield in the comments below. And until next time, peace.